Hello, welcome back to ITC part 27. So in the last episode we uh, bought Body Tune, finally. And it brought the weight down to 28.59 pounds, which, if you're not American, it's around 1300 kilo. So I'm going to dive straight into the action here. Uh, we currently have Tri Edge, the Pleiades, and that's as far as nighttime goes. So we'll just. Like, where are the Pleiades and Tread located? C1 and Kayobashi PA. Alright. Go to the uh, C1 first then. Start the default location. And get some racing done. So I haven't actually driven the Supra yet uh, with the body tune, so this should be uh, should be interesting. It's definitely a little faster in a straight line. All right. It's certainly uh, a lot quicker off the mark. To handling's like, ooh, the handling's a lot better. It is a lot better. Let's see here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it just feels so much lighter. It doesn't want to crash all the time. It's very easy to handle. And it's not even, you know, the, the max weight reduction just yet. Still got a while to go because you have your two body tunes and then the weight savings from the transmission, suspension and all the rest so we'll be looking at a very very light Supra soon and a very powerful one too because we're nowhere near the max engine tune alright heels easy let's take on this guy This is kind of a. Uh, it's just grinding, <laughs> really. Just powering through all these people who don't even stand the chance anymore. Maybe against the old Impreza, but not against the Supra. The Supra is far too quick. Oh, wait a minute. Alright. It's hard to judge which lane people are in sometimes, because obviously you have a uh, you don't have really have much of a uh, guide as to where they are on the road compared to you. And the road markers become a huge blur, and it's like, oh my god. <laughs> well, that wasn't clever for me at all. All right, let's keep going. But yeah, you. Is he on the left and the right? You can only tell when you get up really, really close, so... When it's obvious like this. It's, it's tricky. This is why you shouldn't do this in real life, because... You'd be like, where is this guy in front of me? I was in the next lane, and you'll... you'll, you'll by the time you've realised it's over. So do not try this at home. Alright, where are we going? Uh, I've got to wait for a guy. Oh, or maybe not. Maybe the Pleiades will just chase us. Is it the Pleiades? It's, an, it's another blue Impreza. It's another blue Impreza. And another... Have, wait. Haven't we had this before? Oh, I see. So, they're just like another star where, uh... <laughs> it's both Imprezas taking you on. This time, uh, they're both blue. Oh crap, I don't know which way they're going to go. Going left, okay. Yes. Yeah, he's following. Yeah, this is quite weird. It's like deja vu all over again. I'm waiting for a team where the GC8 is the leader and the GDB is like the number two. Instead of what you're seeing uh, here and with another star. What? He's in the middle of the road. That's... And, and him. 
Um, guys, you know those two lanes? Doesn't mean you have to go down the centre of them. Ah, <sighs> kids these days. Alright, that was an easy win. Uh, I have literally no one to race now. On this, uh, area. I'm for level 5? Has it become available? Clash level 5. And a sticker. That's what the muffler will give us in terms of power. Ooh, we're actually getting really, really close to level S. Uh, gives us 6 horsepower to make 666 horsepower. Uh, 3 million credits for 2 6 horsepower is a bit. I would not normally do this, but it's like, oh, it says 666. I don't know. But, uh, we won't do that yet, because I haven't got the money for it. But I want to know... Oops, wrong team. Roaming flag... Oh, he's in a C1. Oh, I think I passed him. And then Kayabashi PA. So I'll clear out Tri-Edge. Before moving on. I need to find the Kayabashi PA, which is here. Alright, so if... That's where... My two last opponents are. I should really take on the C1 guy roughly on the C1, like midway. Maybe not there, that's a bit too. Uh, there, that, yeah, there we go, there. Then we'll come all the way around to the PA. Uh, there might be a bit of uh, boring driving. I beat this guy too quickly. Or there will just be some people to race anyway, because oh yeah, cause we've got we've got to race the uh, two side roads again. We'll do it after this actually. We'll uh, we'll clear out the C1 at night time, and then we'll take out the side road, and then we'll take out the main loop. Midnight, next side road, and actually leave the daybreak. That sounds like a plan, we'll do that. Alright. Still a bit boaty with the handling, I think. That said, it does have a lot of power, and it hasn't got the, uh, racing slicks just yet. At least we have a lot of uh, things still left to buy on the Supra. And I believe we're still on the stock gearbox. I think, anyway. And then we have, uh, I think, brakes still got to go. There's a lot of things still left to do on this car. So we just have to sort of cruise to uh, the PA parking area. So I guess I'll uh, I'll tell you about channel updates, or rather, why channel updates appear so late. Because uh, right now uh, we have a sort of really weird schedule where things get shifted around. It looks like I'll record two episodes of ITC, one for maybe tomorrow, one for the day after. And then I'll record The Sims, and then do the same. And it'll be like, oh wait, maybe if I just put Sims in the middle of these two ITC episodes, and breaks them up a bit, and separates the two episodes uh, another day apart. What the hell was that? Okay. Um, but yeah, then, then Benson will do an episode, and we'll pull it between The Sims and ITC. And so you sort of see there's a, you know, the, between episodes of ITC, the gap gets even, even bigger. Even though the ITC episodes were basically recorded at the same time. So, yeah, things, uh, when we do updates, it doesn't really come on time for you guys. Uh, I, mean, I, was trying to help found, I think we actually found this guy before. Ah, he only races road three cars. Okay, 
We day we need a uh, RX seven or RX eight for that. But yeah, uh So when uh it Benson's one of Benson's video he was like, Oh, we'll have a uh magic vid out soon. That the vid was already out before his video. Which was uh Yeah, it was like, uh yeah. So that's that's the problem with uh having a schedule but at the same time, it gives you guys uh, constant content, daily content, which we want to uh, keep up. All right, garage, how 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 roll, how roll. Still haven't raced him yet. All right, let's get the triad out of the way. But yeah, the moral of the story is, uh, you know, you can be prepared all you want as far as content is concerned, but you have to sort of bear in mind that when you record something five minutes after it's probably come out five days after so channel updates uh, free stick those in blog blogs or something instead of uh, <laughs> in random gameplay videos but yeah back to the game we are uh, this should be the last person from Triad we race until the leader appears. Uh, Triad is another Evo team, much like top level, and another team which will be showing up, I believe, on Shinjuku, one of the side roads. Racing just too easy now. I feel like going back to the Impreza just to make it challenging, but to be honest, these are quite tedious races. Uh, between the fa between Skull Bullet and the Phantom Nine, there's a lot of races to do but before you reach the next set of bosses. Uh, it's sort of like it's the boring part of the game, really. But after the Phantom Nine, uh, obviously, I think Genki sort of realised that oh wait, people are racing a bit too much between bosses now. Let's let's shorten the gap. So after Phantom Nine, the game picks up a bit more. You don't have to race as many people between uh, boss battles, which is good. Alright, we definitely don't have a custom gearbox yet. The uh, the super on my main save will do about 265 or so, instead of 210. So yeah, the super has got a lot left in the tank. Hey, I'm telling you, if you keep gunning like that, nobody will be able to keep up with you. Well, no one can keep up as it is. <laughs> it's just the, uh, it's the downside of having such a, such a powerful car. Alright, triage leader. Alright, let's race this guy. Beat him up. Very nicely modded uh, Eva there. The Ings get some orange neon. Alright, so time attack. I don't know where the goal is though. Uh, oh, it's going to be on Shinjuku. Not Shinjuku, sure. I suddenly forgot the name of what it's called. Uh, Why has the name of the second loop evaded me? Why? <laughs> Why? Why has it done this? Curse my brain. Oh crap. Curse my driving as well. Alright. You know what I mean? It's the loop under the C1. That, that loop. Why, why have I bloody forgotten it? Why? <laughs> I I can I can like me in the future is like screaming at my past self like it's this it's this but I I can't hear you it's Shin something that was a new miss Shinkanjo that's it it's the, the Shinkanjo yeah C one is the Kanjo and the 
loop underneath that is the Shinkancho. There we go. I got it. I felt your your screaming penetrated through time and space and reached me here in the past. Alright, here we go. Use some spray. Give everyone a seizure. They really do need to tone down the uh, nitrous effect. I know, no, you know, this game sort of came out after Too Fast, Too Furious, so it was sort of in that sort of that buzz, but it's not a realistic effect. It really isn't. Alright, we won anyway. It's great. And uh, we can return back home. And I think I think we will uh, we'll leave the side roads to next episode because so, you know we're getting on a bit in time. It's been 15 minutes already. Right, so actually, let's, let's, actually, no, let's go out first. Let's uh, see if there's any wanderers we can beat. Then we'll go out to the garage. There is no one but the guys who obviously live on the side road, so we can leave that. We're on uh, 50 days now. 50 in-game days. Which uh, which translates to about 55%. So we're over halfway now. So midnight we have B-Legend. Secret code, two limit rings, and in daybreak we have Blood of Tears, Freedom Light, Juicy Heaven, Aquarium, and then for the side we have the Bone in Shibuya, and Urban Stars for Shinjuku. Take out the Bone first, I think, because uh, there's less of them. How much is that new clutch? We could do with a new clutch. Be nice uh, to have that. Oh, we got no transmission tune whatsoever, and they get well, actually pretty cheap. Still pretty cheap. All right, clutch. We could just hold out for the better one, I guess. But... Hmm. I'll I'll decide next episode. Yeah. Alright, we'll leave that to next episode. Or whatever episode I decide by breaks. Because it seems we don't need them just yet. We've been there, we've been stopping quite fine. So yeah. Leave a uh, leave a like and a favourite if you enjoyed the episode. If you didn't enjoy the episode, you can leave a dislike rating if you so please. And, you know, tell us why you didn't like the episode. Because, uh... We do want to keep the keep you guys happy. I just want to keep the production quality high and the commentary high. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. <laughs>